What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today we're looking at a new product known as the Nebula Mars 3. Now, one question I get a lot from you guys is, Chris, can you recommend an outdoor projector? Well, this is gonna be great for that because this is gonna be known as the world's first truly outdoor projector. Not only is this gonna be an outdoor projector, but it's also gonna be a portable projector, so you get the best of both worlds. So you're gonna have a handle here, it's gonna be completely wireless, it has a built-in battery, as well as Wi-Fi, and a whole host of other features that I'll get into later in the video. Now, if you remember a few months ago, you might remember me doing a video on the Nebula capsule, and I actually have this here with me today, and you're probably thinking how these are gonna differ. So when it comes to these two projectors, if you want something super portable, you can go with the Nebula capsule three. Me and my wife take this thing on all of our trips, we we throw it in our carry-on and we project it onto the ceiling at a hotel room or on a wall or something like that. We absolutely love this thing. And this is also, this is a portable projector with a built-in battery. The Mars 3 also has a built-in battery, but it's gonna have much bigger battery life. So this is gonna have up to five hours of battery life versus up to two and a half hours on the Capsule 3. This is also gonna produce up to a thousand ANSI lumens, which is plenty bright for outdoor in the dark versus 300 from the Nebula Capsule 3. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the design of this thing. So on the front, you're gonna notice that it has this little pull down here, the dust cover. Pulling that dust cover actually powers the device on, so you can see that. And it's also gonna have the sensors here that it's gonna use for the AI image adjust and auto brightness and all that cool stuff. So that's really cool on the front of it. So all you have to do is take it outside, pull that down, and you're up and running. And with this being an outdoor projector that you're probably gonna use in the dark, you don't have to use the remote. It's got a nice joystick that you can use here naturally with your thumb. And all these buttons are gonna be backlit. So you got the navigation buttons back, you got uh, volume buttons, as well as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker button. And that's because this can be used as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker, which I'll get to a little bit later. On the back, you're gonna have a mode button. That's gonna change the mode for the brightness. You have AI brightness and you have standard as well as eco modes. AI mode is actually gonna adjust it automatically to your environment. And it's gonna try to maximize the battery life for you so you can indeed get up to that five hours. On the very back, it's gonna have something that's really cool, which is a little button here. And it has a little ambient light on the back. So with you possibly being using this thing out camping or in the dark, you can use this light. It's got three different brightness modes for you to use it to like, you know, plug your stuff in because it's got the ports here or for you to have some light to have some food or whatever you want to do. And if you do lift up this flap, you're going to have all your ports. So it's going to have your power jack here for you to be able to power it because it does come with a power adapter. It's going to have two USB ports, a USB-C as well as a USB type A port that can be used for you to charge your devices. It's also going to have a HDMI port. And even though this is a 1080p projector, it can support 4K as well as 4K HD and it's also going to have an audio aux out port so you can use this to connect some external speakers as well as headphones and on the bottom it's going to have a quarter inch holes and that's because you can actually use this thing on a tripod if you want or if you want a ceiling mounted or something like that you can also use this hole for that it's also going to have a little kickstand here for you to be able to prop it up so if you need to put it up on a screen a little bit higher you can use that kickstand and you can adjust the different heights so you can get it a little bit lower or a little bit higher if you want which is really nice and if you don't want to use the onboard controls the included voice remote is also really nice. And aside from the standard buttons like the navigation buttons and volume controls, it has a few helpful buttons on it like a button dedicated for the AI image adjustments and it also has a dedicated button for projector settings. So let's go ahead and get into the specs on this thing a bit. This thing is gonna have a native 1080p resolution. It has an LED light source that produces a thousand ANSI lumens. It has Android TV 11 built in, a bunch of automatic AI features that are gonna make it really easy to install and use for pretty much anybody. A 1.2 throw ratio, which is gonna produce a hundred inch screen from just over nine feet away. And it has dual band Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth 5.1. All right, so with this being the world's first truly outdoor projector, it's only fitting for us to, of course, be outside with it. So right now I have it projecting onto my garage doors because that's one of the only few places that I have that's big enough to handle a really huge screen that this thing can produce. And besides being a portable projector, which we already have a few of already, the thing that makes this one stand out is the fact that it produces a thousand ANSI lumens and it has a battery built in and it has an LED light source. So it's gonna be perfect for you to take on camping trips or use for a movie night or whatever you wanna use it for. Not only does it have those things, but it also has an IPX3 rating. That means it's gonna work perfectly in the rain if you find yourself out camping and it starts to rain, you don't have to worry about it because it's gonna be splash resistant and stuff like that. It's also gonna be dust resistant. And another cool feature that's perfect for a truly outdoor projector is gonna be the speakers built into this thing. So this is gonna have a 40 watt three-way speaker and this thing gets plenty loud 
which is perfect for you to have an outdoor movie night with a bunch of kids or actually a block party or something like that. Now, for me to really show you what this thing is capable of, I actually had to span it across both of my garage doors because otherwise it's only gonna be a small screen. Now, it's perfectly fine doing like a 90 or 80 inch screen, but this right now is like a little over a 200 inch screen or about 200 inches, just so you can get an idea of how bright and sharp it is. So right now it's playing videos from YouTube and that's because it actually has Android TV 11 built in with Wi-Fi. So it's connected to the Wi-Fi in my house right now. But if you're out in the middle of nowhere, it does have a USB port for you to be able to connect an external hard drive or a flash drive to it so you can play movies out camping or something like that. And with it having so many extra smart features, it's gonna be really easy for you to set this thing up. So you can just aim it on any wall anywhere and it's gonna automatically focus it. It's gonna adjust the brightness. Any AI image adjust can automatically adjust the image to fit a screen or whatever surface you happen to be projecting onto. And just in case you're interested, this is gonna be the Nebula Capsule 3, producing about a 100 inch screen on my garage door. So again, if you're looking for something that's really, really portable, this still works really well for an outdoor movie night or for you to project it on the side of a building or on a wall or anywhere and you still get lots of the same features that the Mars 3 has such as Android TV 11 built in, the portable battery, as well as 4K HDR support. All right guys, so now I'm in my basement and I wanna show you guys how powerful and amazing this thing is. So right now I had this thing sitting in the chair and as you can see, it's kind of aimed down. This is what somebody who's not familiar with projectors might do. They might find a tripod, sit it imperfectly on the screen. And as you can see over here, it is not on the screen perfectly. You can see it's covering up the edges. It just looks a mess. But what's really awesome is if you go into the projector menu, you go in projector settings and you go to image correction, you can go to one click screen fit and what it's gonna do is, it's gonna automatically use AI technology to read your screen, auto-focus itself, then it's gonna take the image and make it fit perfectly on your screen. This is absolutely amazing, and it's a game changer for somebody who's not that familiar with projectors, and just it goes to show you how powerful the AI adjustment technology is. And aside from this projector just being overall amazing, I just wanna show you just how bright this thing really is. So a thousand lumens is more than bright enough for you to use outside, but I actually have my lights on in my home theater at full brightness and this is totally still viewable. So a thousand ANSI lumens is definitely more than you would need for you to be able to use this thing for like a movie night inside or outside of the house, especially if you're using it in complete darkness. All right, so I know you guys are probably wondering the begging question, how much does this thing cost? Well, the Mars 3 retails for $1099 or $1100. Now they do constantly run promotions on this and right now there's a promotion for $100 off. And if you're interested in buying the Mars 3, the Capsule 3 or any of the other projectors I mentioned in this video, be sure to check the links in the video description to make sure you're getting the best deal on it. And I wanna thank Nebula for sponsoring today's video and sending out the Mars 3 for us to check out today. And if you're interested in any of the other Nebula videos I did, I will put some links to those in the video description as well. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.